Okay, I have saved. We were all healed thanks to, well, you get healed after the boss fight. And I have powered up the axe. So now it is, where are they? All right, there they are. Now it is the load axe instead of just Watt's axe. Uh, we will work on that, of course, when we are done with the power glove. We are getting close to done, though. We are getting close. Like I said, I want to level these up as we go instead of heading uh, through the game with just one weapon and then have to use them all at the end. I hear that is very there is, it's very tough, if not impossible, to do that, so I'm going to try to level things up as we go. Now, we need to head to Pandora again, actually. That is our next destination. Down go these easy guys. Should I hit them when they're not, you know, recovering, which is always a good thing. Damn it, Yancey. Get down here. Oh, this game is so much easier to co-op. Uh, there, that's really the best way for me to put it. It's it's designed around that, and I don't know very many games that are designed around an RPG, especially an action RPG, being uh, co-op like that. Now, if I remember correctly, the way that we need to go is down here, but I need everybody on board with that, and right now they are not. Let's take on the few enemies that we have here, and then hopefully I can get, you know, at least a level or two off of them. Weapon, yes, I'm, I'm full on candies now. Uh, weapon level, uh, full level up, either way, I will be happy. How dare you steal all my killing blows. Let's just get out of here. Xion's weapon skill up. Boomerang reaches level 2, so she is ready to move on as well. We will look at the magic later, to be honest with you. We'll, we'll check that out in a bit. I believe what Xion needs to work on now... Hold on while I figure this out. I moved her on to the bow for now. Uh, she's pretty much set on everything else. We might as well put her on something where she learns something. That is always good. I believe I have gone the long way around here somehow, but I will continue. No, this is the right way. We are headed for Pandora. We need to take on all these very, very simple enemies. This is uh, to keep a village. I could go if I need more chocolate. I do need more chocolate, but I think I am good for now. I might need to do some level grinding off screen eventually, but for now I feel like I am set the way that I am. Even though that was a really fucking close battle, that was because I wasn't doing well with those goblins, to be honest with you. The boss fight wasn't nearly as tough as taking on the gauntlet of goblins. I think that was definitely the hardest thing. And we have reached gloves level two. Very, very nice. Now you can move back to the axe and start doing some good damage at a little bit of a distance. That is appreciated. Yes, yeah, so now we can start one-shotting things again. I'm not a big fan of the gloves. Have I made that a port uh, that is clear yet? I should really start forming sentences in my head before I start talking, shouldn't I? That would probably be good for me. Let's just try to take on everything along our path here, and hopefully sentences will just, you know, form in my head again. That would be good. Let's go and kill this guy. Um, this one too? Yep, that one too. And if we keep on one-shotting them with the axe, we are going to level this up really quickly. Just poke him with an axe. That's how that works. Poke. Oh, slashed. Slashed instead. Poke. No. Slash again. Slash again. Poke with an axe. I don't know how that does so much freaking damage. And Yancey has leveled up the javelin, as it is called officially, even though it's the pole dart. Now, what did she, he, it need to work on next? They need to work on the chakra. That is what is up next. And we're, we're getting close to max on everything that we need now. But we're back in the city of Pandora. Now, are you guys going to talk to me? No? 
believe we need to head to the ruins here. So let's head south. That is the way that I remember this. I could be mistaken. No, let's go to the creepy ruins with all the statues. You guys cool? No. You guys have anything to say? No, we don't need to go to the ruins. Hmm. I swore that was where we needed to go. Hold on. Oh, that is right. Uh, we are actually are not ready to go to the ruins. We need to go report into the king, even though we were told Dialog went to the ruins. This part of the game gets to me. How they expect you to know to do all this, I will never fully understand, but I guess it's just a, a matter of trial and error in this game. You need to just talk to random people though. So we need to report into the king and let him know what we're doing. That's not necessarily a random person, but you'll see what I mean. Let's go talk to the king and let him know what the hell just happened. We uh, defeated Eleni. We didn't kill her, but we have defeated her. That is definitely one thing. How you doing, King Gay? What a nightmare. The people in my country are acting like zombies. Oh, I have a headache. I'm going back to my room for a nap. And then off he goes to his room for a nap. And this is somehow very, very important. I, I'm not sure exactly why, but it is. So he needs to go in here and he's to pace around. This is a tragedy. We absolutely cannot allow the Empire to invade at a time like this. Of course not. Oh dear, why don't you calm that down a bit? That probably would be good. It's the first time I've seen the king looking so troubled. Yes. His empire is, well, his kingdom is collapsing around him. Remember, kids, empire bad, kingdom good. It is just a kingdom here. He does not have an empire. So what we need to do now is we need to go outside of the castle. Yeah, I know, it's seemingly very, very random to me as well. Like I said, this part of the game confuses me. You know, we just got told by the sprite, hey, let's head to uh, her, its land, his, her, I don't know, its land. I think they've said he a couple times, but still, I'm uncertain. Uh, we need to head to its land. Uh, meanwhile, we need to get the orbs, but we don't know where else to go. We need to talk to you, of all people. Huh? Vanna? What's the matter? She disappeared. Let's check out the ruins down there. Now we can head to the ruins. After all that, I we needed to talk to her. Like, literally, we needed to talk to that random person in town. After all this time, they don't talk to us. Now we need to talk to one of them in particular. These people still have nothing to say. Let's head up here, and there is Fana. Shion, I'm going on a one-way trip. Pretty neat, huh? Come on, Fanna, snap out of it! Shut up! Bitch slap, stop bothering me! I've never liked you, Xion! Fanna! Fanna! Hey you, make room! You just slapped again. Unless we hurry, Fanna's a goner. Dialect's probably here too! And so now the place has opened up for us. Hold on for one second. Okay, I actually did need to go back to the inn and the heal. I didn't have any MP left. The boss fight apparently doesn't heal your MP. I thought it did. I was mistaken, though. But watch out! And we, as you might imagine, are going to go into a room full of monsters in here. You didn't think they'd just let us through here, did you? Now, unfortunately, uh, this Tomato Man, as he is called here, I swear to God he is, uh, is immune to physical attacks. So we have a few new things that we can do here. We can do speed down. This is Yonsi, by the way, uh, as you might imagine with attack magic. We have Gem Missile and we have Earth Slide. We're going to go for Gem Missile on the Tomato Man. And we'll worry about the zombies with the physical attacks. And Jake's been poisoned. Down goes the Tomato Man. The Tomato Man actually spawns zombies, believe it or not. I don't understand why, but it does. So we have to kill the zombies as we see them. Now there's a few paths that we can go through. Here, let's go through the left one first, where we can find... 
Oh! These are enemies! These are evil swords! Let's try to finish them off. You might have been able to tell that because they are a different color than the rest of everything else. It goes for Moon Saber! I don't know what that did, so just smack it while it's on the ground. I got it while I was trying to get up. It healed itself, you bastard. How dare you. How dare you heal yourself. This guy's pretty damn tough. I don't remember these guys taking this long. Apparently I am mistaken about a lot of things in this game. Okay, let me finish off these other two. Okay, with them out of the way, that, yeah, that took needlessly long, to be honest with you. We are back in... Uh, you see him spawn a zombie right there? Fucking spawning tomato man. We are back here where we need to take on this guy and his zombies. Fucking zombies. Had to be zombies. And we've been poisoned again. Damn it, I don't want to cure just yet. I don't want to do it. Oh. Hey, there we go. Yossi reaches level 12. And I believe that does heal MP as well. Wow, unlike... Oh, is it just going to be the evil swords? Can I avoid them? Oh, and there's a tomato man. Okay, once again, kill the tomato man. Go, Gem Missile. Now, once these sabers cast uh, Moon Sword on themselves, that is what makes them a lot tougher. They aren't necessarily as tough as that first one that I showed you. The walking ones have bombs. I need to remember that. I thought they were just trying to get away from me, but every time I've opened them up, they've had a bomb. Hate. Hate when they give you a treasure chest and there's nothing inside but a trap. That is not cool. Stay away from the pointy end. Do you not understand how swords work? But down it finally goes, and... Arrows have reached level 1, Jake's reached level 13 as well. I don't know if there's anything else that we can uh, have Shion try, uh, so I'll figure that out as soon as we finish this guy off. Damn it, Moon Saber! <laughs> no! But down he goes. So let's head back out here, we can take on the Tomato Man yet again. And, yeah, I'll cut this out. With these guys gone, I actually got uh, Jake's weapon level on the axe up to level 2, so he's back on the sword. Uh, Shion's back on the spear. I think this is my best setup. And uh, Yonsei's still working on the boomerang. We'll level that up as we go. More? What are their official names? I have this written down, sorry. Uh, Chess Knights. That's their official name. Even though they are unicorns. And I don't understand why. There we go. Can I level? Let's level this up to level two. We'll see how good this does. And unfortunately, uh, when you use this, there's this, a lot of well dancing that you have to do around it first. So even though you might be right up on him when you go to attack, you give him all the opportunity to attack you before you actually can get the your attack off, and his attack will interrupt yours. That, I don't like the, that level up system, to be honest with you. And we've got an evil sword here, and a tomato man! Hit... Hit that. Hit the sword first, and we'll worry about the tomato... Actually, no, we need to worry about the tomato man because he spawns. Damn it, hit him with gem missile. Kill the tomato man. Tomato man gets whacked, and down he goes. And we will level up gem missile as we go as well. Hopefully, I'll, I'll probably do those in off-screen things, trying to level up the magic. Magic does get more powerful as you level it up, as you might imagine from the level when we say that we use it. It says gem missile level zero. That will level up as we use it. I will go through that um, probably in off-screen grinding sessions that I'm probably going to have to do, unfortunately. Let's just move on and take on another evil sword. These guys are taking too damn long, to be honest with you. All these enemies. All these enemies. But I don't want to take, you know, just a couple steps and then pause again. Uh, because this is designed to be an action RPG. And I don't have enough. Are you kidding me? Are you... Are you kidding me? How do I not have enough? How did we lose all that? Apparently... 
I, uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have gone into the other rooms, but yeah, we're not doing any damage with this. Any damage with any of these. Alright, let's try doing it this way. Then, we'll go for... What can Shion do? We got Stone Saber, which I'll probably will be using. Speed Up and Bender. Those are very, very nice. We're going to be using that on Jake. Go Stone Saber. And... Oh, I need to move it back to him. I forgot I was on him. I wasn't on him. And Boomerang reaches level two. Very, very nice. And Jake's magic has faded already. Are you kidding me? Oh, you, this is starting to get ridiculous. Okay, what I'm going to do is go back to town and heal so I can get my MP back, and then I'll just run back here without uh, without doing any damage to freaking Tomato Man. I'll be right back. <laughs> 